Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over the least common multiple, or the LCM. The LCM is the smallest positive integer that is divisible by both numbers A and B. So, as an example, if we were asked to find the LCM of 2 and 3, well, the smallest positive integer, or the smallest number that is divisible by both 2 and 3, would be 6. Now, if we were asked to find the LCM of 2 and 4, well, the smallest number that is divisible by both of these numbers is 4. Because if you do 4 divided by 2 and 4 divided by 4, you get a whole number without any remainder. So let's say you were asked to find the least common multiple of the numbers 4 and 10. Well, the least common multiple of 4 and 10 would be 20, because 20 is the smallest number that both 4 and 10 can go into. You can do 4 times 5 to get 20, and 10 times 2 to get 20. You wouldn't do 4 times 10, which is 40. That's not the answer, because we want the smallest number that is divisible by 4 and 10. So the answer would be 20. And I found this neat trick to get the least common multiple. So if you have the numbers 4 and 10, then what you want to do is you want to find the factors of each number. So the factors of 4 would be 2 and 2. And the factors of 10 would be 2 and 5. Well, if we see that there's a factor from A and it's equal to a factor, one of the factors from B, 10 is B and 4 is A, then what we can do is we can cross out one of these numbers and then we multiply the remaining numbers. So all the circled ones we can multiply. 2 times 2 times 5, yeah, that's 20. And that lines up with our answer. Okay, find the LCM of 7 and 70. Well, we could break up 7 into its factors 1 and 7, and the factors of 70 would be 7 and 10. Well, look, 7 and 7 match. So we can take out one of the 7s and multiply the rest of the numbers together. So all these circle ones, we multiply together. So 1 times 7 times 10 is 70. And that makes sense because the least common multiple is the smallest number that is divisible by both numbers. And 70 is divisible by both 7 and 70. Let's do another example. Let's say we wanted to find the LCM of 12 and 15. So if we find the factors of 12, 4 and 3, then find the factors of 15, 3 and 5. Well look, 3 and 3 match up, so we can get rid of one of these 3's and multiply the rest of the numbers. So 4 times 3 times 5, which is 60. And 60 is the least common multiple, because if you do 60 divided by 12, you get 4, and if you, or 5, sorry, and 60 divided by 15, you get 4. If we wanted to find the least common multiple of the numbers 40 and 12, we could factor both the numbers individually. 10 and 4, 4 and 3. Now, when we're doing this trick, we don't want to factor more than we need to. So we could potentially factor the 4 into 2 and 2, and then factor this 4 into 2 and 2 and say, oh, this 2 and this 2 are the same, so you could take out one of the twos and multiply the rest of the number. But you don't want to do that. What you want to do is find the highest matching number. The highest matching number, or the biggest number, that is the same would be 4. 4 and 4. 2 and 2, that's not the biggest possible number. So it's 4 and 4. So that's the number you want to take out. So then you just multiply the rest of the numbers. 10 times 4 times 3. That's 120. 
That's the least common multiple of 40 and 12. Let's do another example. Say, find the LCM of the numbers 105. Well, we could split this up in a 20 and 5 and 5 and 1. And the biggest po possible numbers that are the same are 5 and 5. So we could take out one of them, multiply the rest of the numbers. So 20 times 5 times 1 is 100. So if we apply this to this right here, find the LCM of 2 and 7. Well, we could split it up 1 and 2, 1 and 7. Well, the highest number, the highest factor that matches up would be 1. So here, the 1 and the 1 are the same. You could take out the 1 and multiply the rest of the numbers. Now, just give you 14. 2 and 7, they don't have any number smaller than 14. That's divisible by both these numbers, so 14 would be your answer. So if we wanted to put this concept into formula form, this would be it right here. A times B over the greatest common divisor of A and B. So back to this example, find the least common multiple of 4 and 10. Well, using our formula, we do 4 times 10 over the greatest common divisor of A and B, which is 2. So the least common multiple would be 20. And the greatest common divisor, what that is, that's the same thing I was saying before. The greatest common divisor is the biggest possible factor that matches up for both A and B. So this is what I'm talking about. If we factored 4 to get 2 and 2, we factor 10 to get 2 and 5, and the biggest number that matches up um, for A and B would be 2 in this instance. So 2 would be the greatest common divisor. That's the number we would divide by. And the tip, just reiterating, you would take out one of the matching factors and multiply the rest of the numbers. So multiply 2 by 2 by 5, which is 20. So that's the least common multiple tip. I just happened to find that out and I thought it was pretty cool and that I should show you guys. So hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.